Hello ladies and gentlemen Willie here. So just the other day we've had a little bit more information about the Burning Crusade coming out. Quite substantial stuff at that including beta, the pre-patch and even speculation towards the launch day. So originally it was Stay Safe who leaked the actual news in a YouTube video stating that the information he received was indeed confirmed by several sources to be what they had also heard including Nano, who so far has been a pretty good source on things for TBC information. But of course, it's all just rumors and speculation until a blue post pops up somewhere saying it's all true. So you can take it as you will. But for the most part, it seems the kind of timeline I can see happening. Anyways, here we are. Here is the post. Let's have a look at it and break it down statement by statement. Honestly, the first bit might just be the most interesting to me. I mean, speculation as for the launch date, pretty cool. But the fact that beta is marked as being mid-February is something to look into. Because I assumed we were going to have Blizzk Online, which takes place from the 19th to the 21st of February. And then that would go straight into the beta afterwards and it would have been announced then. That made more sense to me. But this says mid-February and maybe I'm looking into it a bit much. I wouldn't exactly call 19th mid-February. That sounds a bit more like late. I think mid is, what, 12 to the 17th or 18th or so. So this part is the only bit that seems a little bit off to me because if they are intending to release the beta in mid-February, well, they have to have announced it by then as well. So there will be some form of confirmation by Blizzard that yes, we're going to do it prior to BlizzCon. And I've said in a video before, they may do an announcement that they're going to announce it kind of thing, as in they might tweet out a I don't know, a picture of the Dark Portal with Are You Prepared? And then at Blizzk Online, they finally go into details on the main stage. We get the big panel and then they break it down later. Next part is the pre-patch earmarked for April 13th or 14th. Wording also says 2.0. Does that in any way indicate some kind of progressive content is going to happen? Uh, maybe, but it could be a bit of a reach in just how it's worded here. But with the beta taking place mid-February and the pre-patch around mid-April, that would mean about 2 months of beta total and i think the pre-patch really has a lot of potential for fun and unique things to happen and it'll be a time when i reckon we will see a big return of players who have perhaps tired of knacks or just achieved what they wanted to in the game we're going to have tbc talents to play around with raids so that's going to be a lot of fun as well as pvp a battleground should see a big surge in player interaction as well as open world pvp of course and there was actually arenas back in the pre-patch as well so we're going to have a very short while where we get a glimpse of what the end game classic geared arenas would have looked like i'm expecting it to be incredibly bursty and i'm hoping that someone out there maybe a certain organization could put on a little fun event for that because i think it would be very interesting to see as for the beta i hope that it's used for a bit more than just sort of publicity now, there were certainly things that were tested in the original one, which largely had to do with layering and getting that tech working for launch day, which was hit or miss depending on the server you played on. For me personally, it worked great. I played about 18 hours straight before I finally got kicked off into a crazy queue and just went to bed. But I know for other servers, it was just never stable from the offset. But more so than was the case with Classic, I think this is an environment where we need to test things which the community has been asking to be looked at moving forwards things like the new seals for paladins their perceived issues with faction imbalance spell batching melee leeway is layering still the best answer for the server population how can we address the server population and so on and so forth which i'll definitely be talking about more in the run-up to tbc and finally the release date of the 4th of may so that means about three weeks of pre-patch which is very normal for an expansion cycle no mention of fresh to release alongside this as of yet if fresh were to happen for tbc servers as in new ones release and the current ones were on go progressive I think that makes sense to do at the start of TBC launch. I think Fresh Classic would benefit a lot more from coming midway through a TBC phase. One with it is a bit of downtime and people may be a bit more interested in going back and giving it another pass because if it goes at launch, then there's only the mega, mega hardcore classic fans who are going to go on it. And by the time a lot of other people may be looking to jump on, the server would already be somewhat progressed and they feel like they've missed the initial rush. So if it will happen, I think it would make sense to delay it. And I'm really hoping BlizzCon Online does outline their plans to a good degree because there's going to be a lot happening in a very short space of time. But let's say it's the 4th of May. Does that sound too early to you? Does six months of Naxxramas sound like enough? It sounds like enough to me, because if people are already feeling a bit lukewarm towards Naxxramas, I assume as soon as TBC is announced, that's going to be the real time when the player base will drop off and 
pretty much go into hibernation until the expansion comes about. But the beta looks like it's coming quite early, so that should bridge that gap as well. The actual timescale in the Burning Crusade, which keep in mind TBC was delayed then by a few weeks, was just under six months between Nax and pre-patch. So our Nax will almost be like for like duration wise, given how it's launched on the 5th of December, and it could be out by the 4th of May. Just for reference, 1.11 and Nax back then was June 19th, and the TBC pre-patch was December 5th. So there we go, just a few more things to think about going forwards. The only bit that does seem a bit off, as I mentioned, is beta before BlizzCon line, possibly. If that's the case, then we're going to have some kind of teaser soon-ish, I'd expect. Anyways, let me know what you think about this timescale, whether it sounds likely to you, whether you think that's enough Nax Rammers, and better get thinking about TBC preparation now as well. Things are going along pretty fast. As always, thanks so much for watching and listening in, and I'll see you on the next one very soon. If you like what you see, do give the video a like and subscribe as there will be plenty more to come. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.